Hi, I'm Rick Patterson. I'm the pastor at First Southern Baptist Church here in Hemet. And I want to talk to you today about hope. In fact, I want to talk about living hope. First Peter uh, chapter 1, verse 3 says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his great mercy has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. That's a beautiful verse of scripture from the Bible, but I've met a lot of people in our community who are struggling with hopelessness. Uh, they're struggling with things like depression, uh, people that they know, even themselves with drug addiction or alcohol, alcoholism, or uh, sometimes people are struggling because they have lost a job or they have a loved one that's very sick and they're worried about them. And sometimes people lose their hope. When they lose their hope, there's only one source that I know of who is a sure hope, and his name is Jesus Christ. But a person who doesn't know Jesus Christ doesn't have personal access to this living hope that I'm talking about. And the reason that I preach the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ, is because I'm not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God unto salvation for everyone who believes. And for a person to receive hope in their life, you've got to have a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. That's uh, the source of our problems and the reason why we have hopelessness is because of sin in the world. Sin just means we've missed the mark that God established for us. And God is a plan for us to be saved from our sin and to have access to this living hope. The Bible says God demonstrates his own love for us in that while we're yet sinners, Christ died for us. That's Romans 5, verse 8. And the wages of sin is death, Romans 6, 23. But if you want to have hope, then you need to put your faith in Jesus Christ, and you can pray with me like this. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. So let's pray. Father, we ask you to forgive us of our sin. We ask Jesus Christ to be our Lord and our Savior. We believe he died for us and was buried and rose again on the third day. And we want to thank you, Jesus, for giving your life so that we could receive forgiveness and eternal life. In Jesus' name, amen.